Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to learn to read and write Hindi. We are also here because we want, we want to read and write, we want to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both at the same time. Today is our lesson number 28. Lesson number 28. If you have not watched yesterday's video, day number 27, and the day before yesterday's video, day number 26, it's imperative, it's crucial, it's essential, it is absolutely vital that you watch those two videos first, because you can, before you carry on with this one, because this is the part 3 of 3. So you have to watch the first two videos, especially 26, because that's where we explain in details the concept that we're dealing with, the concept of Hamza. Hamza, as we talked about yesterday and day before yesterday, Hamza is a letter, a symbol that is used in the spelling of words in Urdu that is. Hamza is used where the spelling of a word is such that Aleph is followed by one of these three letters. When Aleph is followed by Wow, when Aleph is followed by Wow, that was the part one of three. We did that on door number 26. And then when Aleph is followed by Choti Ye, we did that yesterday on day number 27. And today, as I said, is the part 3 of 3. Today we look at the examples where words, examples, where you will see Alif being followed by a Badiye. When Alif is followed by a Badiye, that's when Hamza is used. Let's start, shall we? But the concept, but the concept is exactly the same as what we learned yesterday and day before yesterday, nothing new, exact same thing. So here's the situation. Let's start with something simple. Let's start with something simple so that you can relate to it. If you if you are Hindi speakers, if you can read and write Hindi, and if you try to understand this concept, let me start from the beginning. For example, when you have a letter B and you want to turn B, let's not call it B, let's call it B, the sound B, when you want to convert B into B, in Urdu we put a body here. So here's your B. You want to convert the sound of B into a B, there's your Eki Matra. We're talking about Choti Eki Matra, not Badi Eki Matra right now. As you know, Badi Eki Matra would have required another symbol on top of it called Zabar, and that would make it a Badi Eki Matra. That is not what we're dealing with. This is a Choti Eki Matra. Without the Zabar, you only need one. So that's a B. Similarly, if you have a P, oh sorry, P, and you, can, you want to convert P into a P, you will take your P and put an Eki Matra. In Urdu, you will take your B and combine with Badiye, and there is your B. There is your P and Badiye, that becomes a P. What about Aleph? When you have an Aleph and you want to combine with Ye to make an A sound, the logic dictates logic dictates to me a non non Hindi speaker, the non-person who cannot read and write Hindi, when I learned that, that that's what you do, logic dictates that you will take your O and go like that. But that is not what you do in Hindi. The very first letter O, or in, in the case of Urdu, the very first letter Aleph, behaves in an odd manner. It's an exception. He's in a class by himself. He's in a class by himself because he's the very first one, Aleph. Just like here. That's not correct. That's not how you write A. You have a special symbol for it, like this. The exact same concept applies here. We do not leave it like this. We make a little loop and we make a body A and then we put a symbol underneath it, in, uh, not in, underneath rather, inside it. That symbol is called Hamza. And that's it. That's the end of the story. That's all you have to understand. That's the use of the word. That's, that's the use of the letter Hamza. That's the function it performs. It replaces Aleph. One more time, it replaces Aleph when Aleph is being followed by Badiye. Or when Aleph is being followed by Chodiye. Or when Aleph is being followed by Wow. As we, did, as we saw yesterday and day before yesterday. So yesterday when we saw that when Aleph is followed by Badiye, and we know Badiye makes a... Or rather, when Aleph, being, when Aleph is being followed by Chodiye, Choti as we know makes a badi ki matra. Again, you will not take your a 
and go like that. You have a symbol for it. Similarly, you don't leave it like this. Instead of writing it like this, we take a put a loop there, make a choti a, and there we go. And these two are equal. Those two are equal. Similarly, wow. When we have a alit being followed by a wow to make an oki okay sound, you do not actually you do. That's just strange. In Hindi, this is an exception. You would you do do you will do exactly what you will do with other letters. So this is an exception. Because for example, if you have a burr, you put a line and you put this. If you have a pur, you put a line and put this, and you do the exact same thing with a uh, here. Here Hindi is an exception. But in Urdu, we do not leave it like this. We put we take a wow and we put a hamza on it. And that's our O. So strangely enough in Hindi, it does follow the same pattern as other letters, but it does not follow it does not do, it does not, this is wrong. It does not follow the pattern that you have for Badi Eki Matra. You have a symbol for it. It does not follow the pattern for Eki Matra. You have a symbol for it. Here is the same. Let's begin. Shall we? Enough of the talk. Let's write some letter. <coughs> or rather, not letters. Let's write some words where you will see Alif being followed by Badi Eki. Let's start out with the same way as we did the last two days, yesterday and day before yesterday, with A. A. I. So again, we will not write it like this. It will be like this. A left, but A. We put a loop there, like that. Hamza. I. Come. Let's do one more. Jim and Aleph will make a jaw. Will make a jaw. And then Aleph and Bariye makes a A. Jai. Let's put them together. Ja. Jai. Let's do one more. Per. Except we don't want a pa, we want a choti ki matra. Choti ki matra requires a zer, a symbol called zer. And that converts pa into a p. P. And then a la. Pila. And then a pilai. Notice just now, notice just now. I did not take my time, I did not bother to make a loop and then make a body and then go like this. I just, I was lazy, I just went like that. Which is fine. It's perfectly acceptable. Hardly anybody slows down to actually make a loop for a Hamza. The Hamza is supposed to have a place to sit. But if you just stick it on top, people will still understand it. Let's join them together. So Pa is going to join the La. So Pa, La. We want. We don't want a pearl, We want a p p line. P line. Let's do one more. Let's put p line on the top so we have the room. P line. You see how it comes out? Uh, written freehand. La. Now there is nothing new, it's just going to follow the same pattern. Lie. Bring it. Lie. Gaf. That's a go. Gaf. And you probably guessed it by now what we're going to write. Gaf is going to take an Aki Matra that makes it a Ga. And then a Gai. Ga. Okay, going. Let's do one more. Dal, that's a da. We don't want a da, we want a d. Choti ki matra. We need a zer. D. And then ka and an alif. That's going to make a ka. That's going to make a ka. D ka. 
Hey. Be kind. Let's put them together. So there is your D, and then this is the K. We're going to continue with the Aleph. There's the K, and then the kind. As you can see, it flows much better. If I have to slow down and make a special roof for the thing, it looks very awkward and it feels very contrived. Contrived. If you don't know this word, look it up and learn it. Contrived. Contrived means something that is made up, something that is artificial. It's not natural. It doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel natural to me when I have to slow down and make a loop. It looks very contrived, very made up, very artificial. This one just free flow is that's why it's called free flow because it's natural. Contrived. Dikhaim. Let's, let's turn one more word, shall we? It's sort of a choti ki matra. Now we're going to have a word with u ki matra. Choti u ki matra. It's sort of a zair. We're going to replace the zair with a pesh. And that converts da into a du. We don't want, we don't want a choti ki matra. We want a choti u ki matra. Dukhaim. Dukhaim. Just like yesterday, let's put, let's make a phrase out of it. There is your da, that's a da. We don't want a da, we want a d. And then la, la. Dil dukhaim. Dil dukhaim. Aap mera dil dukhaim, dukhaim ke liya hai, dil dukhaim. Give me heartache. Dil dukhaim. Let's do one more. That's a scene. We don't want to serve, we want to sue. Chot yuki matra. It takes pesh. Pesh, the symbol is called pesh. It looks exactly like the symbol in Hindi, except it goes on the top of the letter instead of the bottom. So that's su. Na. And then a. Sunai. Sunai. Let's put them together. So this is two loops off of the scene. We can make one more for the na. We put a pesh on it. The su, na, and then a. Sunai. Now I'm going to write a little bit differently, just like yesterday. I'm going to write a little bit differently. And this time, the way we're going to write it will require us to make a noon a little bit smaller. The noon will have to be a little bit smaller on account of the fact of what how we're going to write scene. Here we go. Instead of making two loops, instead of making two loops, people something like like, like this. Sunai. Sunai. You see, it's getting sloppier and sloppier. Now it did not take a nice shape like this. It just became like that. It does not have this thing, and this was not sharp. That's okay. All of that is fine. That's sunai. It's perfectly legible. There is no reason why anybody would complain that I can't read it. Let's do one more. So, mo, mean, then a ja, some ja, some jai. Make me understand some jai. Let's put them together. So seen, it's going to be like this two loop. We need one more loop to join the meme. That's a meme. Some. That's a ja. Some ja. Hey. That's exactly how it's going to look like. Some ja. It can also be written like this. Instead of making two loops, we can make a one long loop. Samjai. That is perfectly fine. Let's do one more, shall we? So that was Samjai. B. That's a B. B. We don't want a B. We want a B. Choti ki matra. So we need a zair. Then we have a T, which is going to join the Tochashmi here. Tochashmi here, right here. 
If you have not watched these videos in proper sequence, it's imperative, it's crucial, it's essential, it's actually absolutely vital that you watch them in proper sequence. That's how we learn. On day number 1 through 25, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25, those five days, we spend five full days on the concept of Dochashmihe. Dochashmihe comes in handy when we want to convert the sound of T into a T, because we don't have a letter in Urdu for T. So that's how we do it. We combine it with T. So that's the T. So far, this is the T. This thing that you see there so far is T. We don't want a T, we want a TA. So we want actually a TA. B TA. B TA. B TA. I left no room. So this alif actually belongs to TA. And then to which is going to join under a B TA. So let's, let's slow down. Let's slow down and identify all the matras. So this is Choti, Choti Iki Matra, right here, Choti Iki Matra. Right here is the next body, uh, uh, this next is the Aki Matra. That Aki Matra is for Ta. It's right here. And this is E, which we have not written yet. A. Let's put them together. And we have to finish writing this word here because we have no room. So first the ta. So this is ba. Now what do you suppose happened to this marker? I must have left the bloody thing open. This is B, and when T joins the H, it looks like this. This is a T. When Aleph joins it, it becomes a Ta. B, Ta, and A is just going to be like that. All we have to do is put them together. All we have to do is put them together. There you go, be time. Let us sit. Let him sit rather. Be time. Oh, what do you know? That was the end of it. That was the end of my list. Those were some examples of words where we saw Aleph being followed by Badi Ye, giving it A ki sound. Be time. Sunai. Gumai. Rulai. Jai. Ai. Gai. Yesterday we did uh, words where Alif was being followed by Choti Ye and he gives us Badi, Gai, 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 uh, Kami. No, Kami would not work. Just ignore that part. You get the idea. So that was the end of the video. I'll see you tomorrow in the next video where we'll do a new concept which is going to be a two part video. This was three parts because there were three different concepts there. One, Alif being followed by Wow. Ali being followed by Choti Ye and Ali being followed by Badi Ye. I made three separate videos. Tomorrow we're going to start a new concept called Tajdeed. And if you don't know what Tajdeed is, it's important that you understand the concept in order, in order for you to be able to read and write Urdu. Tajdeed is called. And even for people who are here who can read and write Urdu, the video is important because you have to understand how Hindi handles the concept of Tajdeed. They don't have an equivalent concept in Hindi. They do something different. Touched it. We're going to make two videos. Okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.